Hey, 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 hey! What's going on, everybody? Come here. This is Mickey. Say hi, Mickey. Hi. He's gonna help me make a video today, aren't you? Um, for don't get the get out of there. Uh, hi. Uh, we're gonna make a video today for the new season of the 2014 Fake Statistical League of War. Very excited to have you, Commissioner, here once again. <sighs> it's gonna be a great year. I can feel it. Uh, despite the fact that Dan Stack won last year and ruined all of our lives, I have a great feeling that uh, this will be a whole new year of new winners and money makers. So be ready. It's going to be a great year. It's going to be a competitive year. I've, I've noticed the last two years just this really good uptick in, in competition and knowledge and research and just kind of being on their game. So uh, I hope you're as excited as I am. Because I've already done like a million mock drafts and I'm already doing all this crazy research and I'm already racking my brain full of useless bullshit. But anyway, uh, so let's go over some rules. Let's go over some changes. Let's go over the draft. Uh, first of all, hey buddy, you can go outside? Okay. Uh, first of all, unfortunately we lost Bennett this year. Uh, but we got ourselves a fantastic young man. You know him, you love him. And he'll provide us great entertainment. Uh, great competition, some potential nudity, uh, but he's uh, is now part of the family, Mr. Gary Smith. So welcome to the league, sir. I'm sure you'll perform and behave in a way that is uh, responsible and in line with our rules. Um, so I look forward to seeing your dick. Uh, the draft is going to be in about, uh, in about three weeks or so. I think it's three weeks from... No, two weeks from Saturday, right? Uh, the 16th, there's going to be a Dan Stack's house. Um, sorry, dog here. I already scouted Dan's house. We have plenty of room. We have a, a nice big TV to have that player board like we had last year. <clears throat> We're going to have, so bring computers, bring whatever you need. They have Wi-Fi and bring your notes. And I'm going to have a player list, a top 200 PPR player list for ESPN. I'm going to print those out and provide them to you. So if you want to bring a highlighter or something to cross them out as they get called out, that's fine. So I will have a list for you. Plus, we'll have the player board. Also, bring your $150 cash check. I actually have a credit card swiper. I'm not lying. I actually have one. So if you just want to bring your debit card, I'll swipe it. Uh, it's going to be at Dan's. Like I said, I'll provide the address to you on the Facebook and on the ESPN page. Uh, what else? Uh, about 2 o'clock. I think I'd like for everyone to start showing up. Uh, I'm going to be there early, obviously, setting up. But 2 o'clock, I'd like to start, get started around 3, get things moving. Uh, he does have a pool, so if you want to bring your own uh, swimming gear and or adult beverages, that would be great. Uh, so potential drowning would be an exciting twist on the day. So... So anyway, uh, looking forward to that day. If for some reason you can't make it or you're going to be late or you need me to draft for you or something like that, let me know uh, beforehand. That way we're not doing it at the last second. All right, so here are my notes. I'm just going to kind of scroll down them here. I'll go through them as fast as I can. Uh, the biggest change this year is going to be transaction fees. Transaction fees last year were great. We generated a lot of money, which was good. But the way that I formatted when you can use them and when they're free and all that stuff is going to change a little bit. The last year was up until week four was free. Free for all. You could do as many as you want, doesn't matter. And then after week four, it was, I think it was week four, uh, you could just go and then and it was $5 after that for as many as you want. And it was just five bucks. I thought that was kind of unfair because what happens if something, what happens if you didn't do any transaction fees and all of a sudden later on in the year you got to pay for something that happened to one of your players? So here's the change. So write this down. The change is starting from the draft day, as soon as the draft is over, everyone in the league gets 10 free transactions. It doesn't matter if you use them in one day, in one month, or for the entire year, it doesn't matter. 10 for free. Now, after 10, it's $5. And then after 30, so you get 10 for free, 
20 for five dollars after 30 and up it's ten dollars kind of a luxury tax if you're going to use that many transactions now if i put this format into last year's transactions we have almost the exact same amount of money of transactions it was off by like 70 bucks so it's basically the same it's just allowing you to pace yourself for when you want to use your when you want to use your transactions which i think is more fair because if you have a great draft and you want to hold on to your transactions and then dump them all out later that's fine but you're going to eventually need to use them uh, one reason being is because I'm reducing the bench spots from six to five. So it's one less person you can kind of hold on your bench. You're going to need to go out and get someone eventually. But just like we know, like last year, there are so many people that you draft that you that you drop in week three and you never see them ever again. And then people you never fucking heard of end up being superstars by week eight. So there's going to be a lot of movement. Don't worry about that. And it will generate money for the pot, which is good. So... I think this is a good fair balance. I hope you do too. Um, so just to review, recap one more time. Zero dollars for the first 10 transactions. Doesn't matter when you start using them. You can use them beginning, middle, end. Doesn't matter. Uh, after your 10, from print transaction number 11 to 30 is five dollars. And then transaction fee number 31 and up, transaction number 31 and up is going to be $10. So, like I said, a little bit of a penalty for having your dick too much on that mouse. So, that's transaction fees. Like I said, reducing the bench spot from 6 to 5, but we still have the two flex players, so it's kind of basically the same. Now, another change is uh, defense and special teams. Last year, defense and special teams had the ability to lose you points. So let's say, like, I don't know, the Giants gave up 45 points and and had nine fumbles or whatever it was, they would have, like, negative 11 points. What I've done is I've tweaked the points where you can never lose points from the defense or special teams. You can have zero, and you can have positive points, as many positive points as you want, but you can never go into the negative. I thought that was kind of unfair because, actually, I think there was someone... You can post on the Facebook to let me know who this was. I'll look back, I guess. But someone lost a game because their defense let up like a weird touchdown at the end of the game or something. I can't remember what it was, but actually lost. And I, I didn't think that was entirely fair because his offense did great. So just because your defense has one bad game, um, I, I'm not going to fault you for that, but you can go down to zero. So no more negative for the defense and special teams. I figure that'll help some people out. That'll keep people from getting too discouraged just because their defense screwed them up. You know, because defense is usually the last thing we draft anyway, so or the kicker or whatever. Which leads me to my next thing. Here is what we're going to vote on. I'm not going to make this change without an actual vote because this is actually the lineup changes. So you can vote on the Facebook page uh, just below this video if you want to just put a comment. I'll tally up all the votes. If you can vote by... I'll give you a week. If you can vote by next Monday, that would be great. That way I can set all the, the settings for the ESPN. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I've contemplated getting rid of the kicker spot altogether, just getting rid of kickers. Uh, kickers can be great, or kickers can be a dud. You know, you, Most every kicker is going to get you know somewhere between three to six points. There's like four kickers who do really well most of the time. Uh, so what I've contemplated doing is taking the kicker out and adding the head coach spot. Now hear me out. Hold on. He doesn't even want to hear it. Uh, the head coach spot is during the draft, you're going to draft a head coach for a team. So let's just, for example, say Bill Belichick. I draft Bill Belichick in the last round or whatever round I want. He represents a team in the NFL, obviously. So let's say I draft Bill Belichick of the Patriots, and the Patriots win the game. That's simple. I get five bonus points. If they lose, it's just zero. So it's head coach gets you five or zero, nothing in between, no more, no less. And then, like, if you're the Broncos head coach, you would have had, uh, well, they have 13 wins last year, so you would have had an extra 65 points throughout the season. And, but, and that's, you have to worry about your kicker. Or do you want to keep the kicker? Just like it was always going to be, same thing, you know, extra point is one, field goal is three, if they go far, you get bonus. Same exact thing. Uh, I thought that was kind of an interesting wrinkle. I'm not sure what you guys think. 
So, there's 12 of you. My vote is for the head coach. So, now there's 11 spots open for the change. So, if I don't hear from you by next Monday, we'll say by midnight. Um, so, wait, wait, today's Tuesday. So, by Monday at midnight, which would be the uh, 4th. So, August 4th. If I don't hear from you by August 4th at midnight, I'm going to consider it a no vote. I'll text this out and I'll put it on the ESPN page and all that stuff, so there's no excuse for you not to hear about it. But let me know what you want to do. I'll tally them up and I'll let you know um, what the result was. I won't tell you who said what. I'll keep it anonymous or whatever, but just let me know what you think. Uh, so, quick review. Kicker, all regular points. Head coach of your team, either five or zero. All right. This is my favorite thing of the whole... Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. I'm not trying to be... Not looking at you in the eye. I'm sorry. This is my favorite thing that I think that we're going to have this year. It's called the Domestic Terrorist Award. Now, we're not going to you know, strap C4 to ourselves and walk into the Florida Mall. We are going to have the Domestic Terrorist Award every week, weeks 1 through 12. What this is, is... Pause for dramatic effect. Every team who scores the most amount of points, weeks 1 through 12, will be the domestic terrorist, and you will win a $25 bonus. Uh, we have the decimal system this year, so there shouldn't be any ties, God forbid. Uh, but if you are the domestic terrorist, $25 cash. Now, it doesn't, I know it doesn't seem like a lot of money as compared to how much money we normally have in this league, but I think if you can stream together, you know, two or three wins throughout the season, you pretty much pay for your transaction fees or you can pay for half of your league fees or whatever you want to do. You have the option. You can either, I can pay you out cash. I can find you at some point during the week and give it to you. Or you can just, I can hold on to it and you can put it towards your transaction fees. I'll keep track of all that stuff for you. So I thought that'd be pretty cool. It keeps everyone interested and involved throughout the week. Throughout the year, because every week, you know, especially towards the end, you know, you're four and nine, or you're four and, or you're two and six, and you're like, well, shit, this is stupid. I don't want to do this anymore. If you can put together a decent couple of weeks, you can make some cash. So, uh, I thought it'd just be an interesting way to keep people involved all throughout. Uh, so, you're probably wondering where we're getting this money from. Well, it's going to be from our, our league fees, our, our pot of, of money. It equals out to $300, uh, and it also equals out to about $2 per team or per owner per week. So it's kind of like a little bit of a anti, anti up, I guess, uh, towards uh, you know potential win for the week. So 25 bucks is potential every week. It's always out there. So work hard, keep your lineups tight. Uh, and stay on your on your player news. Make sure you're not leaving someone out who doesn't need to be left out because you could potentially win money. Doesn't matter how what your record is. There's still a potential financial gain uh, for you. So that's the domestic terrorist award. All right. Let me see if there's anything else here, real fast. Uh, let's see anything. I have the breakdown of the prizes, but it's basically the same as last year. Uh, so once again, the lineup is going to be a quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, two flex. The flex can be a running back, a wide receiver, or a tight end. Defensive special teams, and then whoever we vote on, the kicker or the head coach, whatever you guys decide, by Monday of next week. So, that's pretty much it. Welcome to the league. Welcome back. It's so good to have you. Uh, we're going to be having a Lousy Shot podcast that will do a fantasy preview. That was supposed to be last week. Things got kind of screwed up. But I promise you that will come out before the draft. Not that it's going to do you any good because it's a bunch of useless, stupid information that we don't know what we're talking about. But you can also listen to CBSSports.com. They have some good stuff. Uh, just jump online to Roto World or wherever you feel like you want to get your news. And get ready. 16th. It's coming. Uh, I'm, I, I'm so stoked. So. Facebook page, everyone's on there, so no excuses, except for Capper because he doesn't have Facebook. ESPN page will be loaded up with this. Uh, I'm going to start restart the Twitter account, so it's going to be at uh, Fake League of War. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. If you have anything, just shoot me a text or email me or whatever. 
Uh, and good luck this year. It's going to be great. And from Mickey and Holly, who's at work, and your commissioner, I bid you adieu, farewell, Godspeed, and good night.